In this video, I'm going to go over Unit 1, Lab 1, Page 2, Programming Your App. I'm going to show you how to modify a sprite's costume and how to make the costume change each time the sprite is clicked. In every Snap program, you'll be writing code inside of a sprite. A sprite is just an object that can be manipulated by the programmer and even the user. You can program commands into a sprite in the script area. You can even create multiple sprites in your program. For example, if you have a game where the user has to collect coins and jump on bad guys, each coin and bad guy can be represented by a sprite. By default, a sprite looks like an arrowhead, but you can change its appearance by changing its costume. You can programmatically change the costume by adding a script or a group of blocks that tell the computer to do something. You can import your own costumes, but to access the default costumes available, you're going to go to File, Costumes, and choose the costume that you want your sprite to have. For this project, we're going to choose Alonzo, and we're going to click Import. And now we can cancel out of the Costumes menu. Now you'll notice that my sprite went from being an arrowhead to now being this character called Alonzo. We could also now see Alonzo on the stage. The stage is this white area in the upper right hand side of the window. This is the area that represents what a user of the program would see. You'll also notice that Snap switched us from the Scripts tab to the Costumes tab. We can add more costumes for this sprite to access here. We can even drag in our own costumes in this area too. But if we don't want to add any more costumes, Alonzo will always appear like he does on screen. So this sprite will not change its costume unless we add more costumes. If we want him to face the other way, for example, we have to add a costume for him to appear that way. In fact, let's do that right now. If we right click on Alonzo in the Costumes tab, we can go to Duplicate to create a copy that we can then modify. So now the second copy of Alonzo was created, but it looks exactly like the first. So you're not really going to see a difference if you were to switch costumes. So what we want to do is edit this costume, the second Alonzo, to look like the reverse or look like a mirror image of the first Alonzo. In order to do that, we can edit this copy by right clicking on Alonzo, Alonzo 2 I should say, hitting edit, and then we're going to flip it along the vertical axis. Now you'll see Alonzo is facing the other way and we can hit OK and you'll see that the second Alonzo now has a different image. Suppose we want Alonzo to switch costumes every time that he's clicked on by a user. So in order to create code that will do this, we have to go back to the scripts area where all the blocks are going to be available for us to program with. All of the blocks we have available in Snap by default are found in all of these block palettes up in the top left of Snap. Let's go over to the control palette and drag over when I am clicked. If we drag the when I am clicked block over to the scripts area, now this sprite will have this code available to it. Now currently, this when I am clicked block won't really do much because there's no code underneath it telling the sprite what to do if he's clicked. So let's add something that will tell it what to do. If we go over to the looks palette, the purple area, and we bring over next costume and connect it to when I am clicked, make sure it snaps together, the code is going to read kind of like English. As long as our sprite has more than one costume, each time the sprite is clicked, the next costume will be displayed. You got to make sure that your blocks are snapped together because if they're separate, it won't work. Now you'll notice that over here, the draggable box was not checked off, but if you notice that your draggable box is checked, make sure to uncheck it right now. Otherwise, when the user clicks on Alonzo, they might accidentally click him and drag him away somewhere else. We can check our program by clicking on Alonzo and seeing if he faces the opposite way, which is what the next costume is. So I'm just going to click on him and it looks like he's switching costumes correctly. Congratulations, if you've never programmed a computer before, you've just done so. You just told the computer what to do when this object is clicked. You should feel proud of yourself. See you in the next video.